Melissa Gilbert is a film and TV actress best known for her nearly decade-long tenure playing Laura Ingalls on the classic Western TV drama Little House on the Prairie. Following her role on that show, she's continued to work consistently in the entertainment industry. Today, she lives in a cabin with her third husband and has become passionate about gardening and taking care of animals. According to Melissa, it was her role on the classic series so many years ago that planted the seeds of her new passion. At 57, Melissa looks nearly as great as ever and seems to be taking great care of herself, despite suffering some health concerns in recent years. Join Facts First as we take a look at how Melissa Gilbert from Little House on the Prairie is all grown up. When Melissa Gilbert received the role of Laura Ingalls on the classic Western TV drama Little House on the Prairie, she was a child actress with very little acting experience. She had been ushered into the industry by her adopted parents after being born in 1964. Both parents had ties to the industry, with her adopted father being a notable vaudeville performer who had starred in a series on NBC, and her adopted mother being the daughter of the creator of the sitcom The Honeymooners. Gilbert was only a toddler when her parents first started having her appear in commercials. Before long, she was being given roles in notable television series. One of her earliest appearances came in 1972 when she appeared on the show Gunsmoke. It was only a few years later, in 1974, that the young girl was given her iconic role on Little House on the Prairie. The series also featured Melissa's adopted brother, Jonathan Gilbert, as well as stars Michael Landon and Karen Grassel. According to Melissa, her time on the series was a memorable and formative experience that was mostly positive, despite one traumatic incident where she accidentally drank from a crew member's spit cup because she thought it was her root beer float. One of her favorite aspects of performing on the show was getting to wear the iconic period costumes. According to the actress, the costume designers on the series went out of their way to make them as authentic as possible, which made working on the show feel like playing a giant game of dress-up for the young girl. By the time the show ended, Melissa was 19, and had portrayed the character for all of the show's nine seasons. Since then, Melissa hasn't had that hard of a time finding continued work, but her star status gradually dropped off to the point where she was taking voice acting roles in cartoons by the 90s. Some of her most notable work immediately following Little House was in made-for-television features like Family Secrets and Choices, which were released in 1984 and 86. Her most prominent voice acting role has been on 1992's Batman the Animated Series, where she portrayed Batgirl. Many have wondered if Melissa would be game to return for a Little House on the Prairie reboot, though the actress has continually denied any interest. According to her, the original series is in such steady syndication, there would be no reason to reboot it. Despite this, she has notably returned to the intellectual property by portraying the character of Ma Ingalls, her former on-screen mother, in the musical adaptation of Little House on the Prairie. The show began running in 2008, and Melissa gave so much of the role that it nearly killed her. According to her, she began suffering from back pain during her tenure portraying the character Ma Ingalls in the memorable Little House on the Prairie musical. When this began, her immediate reaction was to ignore the pain and hope it went away. But it kept getting worse. She made a pact to herself she would go to the hospital if the pain became too much to bear, which it eventually did. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Melissa Gilbert. When Melissa Gilbert finally decided to go to the hospital after her back pain was too intense, she was confronted with a startling revelation. Her back pain had been a good deal more serious than she realized, and she'd been performing for a significant period of time with a broken back. Melissa was in her 40s when she was playing Ma Ingalls in the musical, and she'd had a broken back for several months. When the Little House on the Prairie musical ended its original run, Melissa Gilbert was free to undergo surgery to fix the broken back. The actress was able to make a full recovery thanks to a plastic implant, but has claimed her height was affected by the incident. Sadly, this hasn't been her last struggle with her health in recent years. But thankfully, as with her broken back, she's been able to fully recover from all of them. After recovering from the broken back, Melissa Gilbert decided she wanted to compete on Dancing with the Stars. She began appearing on the series in 2012, competing alongside a skilled Ukrainian-American dance partner. While they performed fairly well, the actress sadly had to bow out of the competition early after suffering a minor head injury during one of her dance numbers. In addition to all of her acting work, Melissa also served as president of the Screen Actors Guild for several years in the early 2000s. She's even previously expressed interest in getting into politics, though doctors advised her that her numerous health concerns around the time would prevent her from doing a good job in office. 
Besides the health concerns we've discussed, there was also an incident where the balcony of a house she was renting collapsed on her and caused numerous injuries, which required further back surgery. This incident occurred only several months after her head injury on Dancing with the Stars. Despite all her health concerns, it seems the 57-year-old star is currently doing as well as ever. She's living in a cabin in upstate New York with her third husband, and apparently she has found a new passion in the kind of farm life that she mimicked so many years ago on Little House on the Prairie. Before marrying her first husband, Melissa was briefly engaged to actor Rob Lowe. Her first husband was named Bo Brinkman, whom she married in 1988 and divorced in 94. During their marriage, they had a son named Dakota Paul Brinkman, born in 1989. Following their divorce, Melissa went on to remarry a man named Bruce Boxleitner. Melissa and Bruce were married from 1995 to 2011. Though they didn't have any biological kids together, Melissa acted as a stepmother to Bruce's two children. It was only a few years later that she went on to marry her third and current husband, Timothy Busfield. As with her previous marriage, Melissa and Timothy haven't had any biological kids together, but Timothy came into the marriage with several kids from a previous relationship. Besides her two failed marriages and numerous struggles with her physical health, Melissa has also struggled with substance abuse and depression sporadically over the course of her life. After all that she's been through, though, it seems Melissa Gilbert is doing better than ever. While she can still be found working in the entertainment industry once in a while, her true passion nowadays is planting vegetables and taking care of animals at her cabin in upstate New York. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Melissa Gilbert? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.